So now we come to leaving the classroom. What's the importance about controlling students leaving the classroom? Well, it is actually as important as getting them into the classroom because there may be 60, 70 teachers in the school and one of those 60, 70 teachers is going to be teaching your class after they leave your lesson. Well, so far, hopefully, apart from the one student you had to get removed, all the rest are going to leave fairly happy with your lesson. You will get at the end of the lesson some students that always want to be first out and they'll get a bit boisterous, they'll put their coats on first and have their bags ready. The minute that bell goes, they're up and off. Chairs are clattering, banging. So again, before they go, it's important that you make it very clear what your expectations are for them leaving the lesson. And you control that again by being the person on the door. Now, you're doing lots of things by being that person on the door. We talked earlier, uh, talked earlier about how that helps with whole school behavior when you're doing the meet and greet because teachers are out in the corridors. Well, we're duplicating that now because exactly the same thing's happening again. Teachers out on the corridor helping with whole school behavior without even doing anything. You are just helping with whole school behavior. How do we deal then with dismissing the class? One of the tips I used to give teachers is be fair. Let the students know what system you are going to use. And it could be that today it's, it's row A, then B, then C, then D. But next time then it's B, C, D, A, and so on. Let them know, but treat them fair. So it's not the same group that are always coming out first and the same group that are always kept to the back. Because if you do, you're almost asking for people again to say, you're unfair, miss. So what I just say to teachers is just have a little book and just tick off which letter A, B, C or D came out of the class first last time and then just rotate it from there. This is also an opportunity to speak very quickly to a couple of students that may have just pushed it a little bit within your class, but not enough that you felt you've had to do any more than just give them a glance. But this is the time to talk to them. You have to let them know that they just went a little bit too far and next time, please, can they just handle it a little bit better? And then just say thank you. Let them all go. The reason why I say you can't hear keep them too long is because if you keep somebody back four or five minutes, they'll actually be quite annoyed because they'll start to be getting anxious about being late for their next lesson. And also, the teacher's going to start having a go at them for being late, and you've created the scenario. So you've got, to, you've got to try and get a balance here. That brings me on to the fact that a few of them have gone three or four yards outside your classroom, they've left quietly, they've said goodbye to you, and then they just start being loud. Not doing anything, not damaging anything, not smashing a window, not kicking a door, not doing anything that we have to deal with then and there, but they're just a bit boisterous. They've clearly done it, they've got three yards away from you, they think they're far enough away from you, they just up the tempo a bit. Do we have to do anything about that then? Well, the first time I would say, not straight away. But again, just nip into your classroom and make a note in your little book, which you have every class in, which is what I recommend, and just say, at the next meet and greet, before anybody walks into my classroom, I am going to reinforce to the whole class my expectations of when you leave my class. And then the first time I wouldn't even start engaging on individuals, I would give a whole class reinforcement of my expectations. It may well be then that there's an improvement in that dismissal from then on, we keep going. However, if the same group then do the same thing again, you still don't have to deal with it initially, but the next time start dealing with them as individuals. But going through the processes that we've talked about before talking to them quietly, respectfully. The first time is, we've agreed how we're going to leave this classroom. You're not doing that. Do you think that's right? Keep, keep it calm, keep it cool. But if it carries on, that's the type of behaviour that will fit into the sanctions policy and you can tell them that eventually. But give it a couple of goes first to, to, to make them think, actually, you're being fair with me. You are treating me with respect. So maybe, I don't particularly want to be quiet down this corridor, but I should give you the same respect back.